Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Mini Forum DMAF5 Mini PC. Uh, it has an AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, it comes with Windows 10 Pro, has DDR4, 16 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes of SSD, HDMI, USB and so on, a lot of uh, ports, even USB 3, Wi-Fi 6 and yeah, supports a lot of other things, has a Radeon Vega 8 graphics card built in, I mean it's not real uh, graphics card, it's an onboard but it's still uh, very capable and it's listed for about 550 dollars so it's not just a normal mini pc which you usually will attach to a tv it's more capable it's more like a desktop pc where you can do everything like everyday work but uh, yeah this is just according to the listing so let's take it out of the box and see what it really can do by the way, in this video, I will take everything out of the box and show you all the details, all the ports, everything, and we'll set up Windows 10, and I will show you how it behaves in everyday life with a browser, and uh, maybe 3D maps, and even a small 3D game, and of course, then a performance test, and then I will give you my final resume. So here it starts, has a little bit of protection, here we get some instructions, manual, I think it's not really important. Then here we get the main PC, it's a little bit difficult to take out, yeah it's a heavy one, it's one of the bigger mini PCs for sure. And then we get a lot of cables, you can see HDMI even two times, yeah take it out here. Yeah, so here we have everything. We have a powerful charger or power supply which works worldwide. Then here also part of the power supply, then the mount for the TV, then two times HDMI. And now here comes the really interesting part, the big trick here, and it's really nice how we can open this thing very easy. We just have to push here and then we can remove the top here and we have access to everything so if you want to replace the ssd that's on this side here we have also access to the memory and we can even add a hard disk normal hard disk where we have this thing here you can screw it down here inside yeah i think not a bad idea this is one of the easiest ways i've seen uh, this to open and uh, yeah really nice idea here by the way, the normal hard disk drive would be here on top. Uh, there's no space here to screw it down. I think the screws uh, would be here. So it would be mounted actually to the top. And then we connect it here with this uh, adapter here. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff here. And we can see already there's enough space for cooling. Yeah, but it's a little bit blocked. I mean, I think we have the fan actually underneath. So I don't know how much air we will really get here inside. But I mean, the hottest part is probably underneath anyway. We have a lot of cooling openings here on all the sides and here at the bottom and here's the fan i'm also interested to see of course how loud this will be so here we have all the ports we have some usb-c we have some normal probably usb 2 usb 3 uh, 3.5 uh, millimeter audio jack power on here i don't even know what it is microphone or reset no this is microphone so this is probably the reset on the back we have two times usb we have the hdmi we have the display port and we have two times ethernet and the power that's about it nothing on the side everything in the front and in the back and that's probably uh, not two times hdmi but probably once hdmi and once display port of course yeah here we can see one cable is hdmi here hdmi to hdmi and here is display port to display port so as you can see i've installed everything i have my computer screen i have the mini forum pc uh, keyboard and mouse everything attached in the back really convenient so i don't have anything on the side on the front or on this side so now i think it's time to turn it on just a short 
push. Yeah, I forgot to uh, attach the power cable here. Okay, so now we have power on the screen as well and now we can see what's going on and it's time to set up Windows 10. Yeah, I don't have to show you that. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a normal thing. If there's anything, I would let you know. So, okay, here we are. After updating everything on this mini forum PC, you can see we are on the latest Windows 10 version. 20h2 everything is updated also virus scanning you can see everything here uh, when we manage setting everything is turned on working good so no problems with that no viruses found so i go a little bit closer with the camera here so we can see everything i have installed a lot already a couple of games the uh, chrome browser and open office and many many things and from 238 gigs there are still about yeah i think 187 gigabytes left so plenty of storage for everything and here the system information you can see we have a normal full version windows 10 pro and it's a 64 bits system when we go down we see the installed physical memory of 16 gigabytes so everything is here as promised and i've already been trying around for a little bit even with online gaming here mission complete you can see i've won the online tournament was super easy with this pc i had enough frames I mean, it's not a modern 3D shooter or so, but it was absolutely no problem with this thing. And a lot of mini PCs uh, are having some problems. You can see I can move around like crazy, uh, run around, jump, move left, right, everything. Uh, plenty of frames here. Absolutely no problem with this thing. Yeah, I'm stuck here, <laughs> but uh, it's doing really good. You can see that here. Yeah, it's behind the fence. Yeah, not so good idea to fight this guy here behind the fence. But anyway, you can see everything is running smoothly. So I've closed this tab here, but uh, I've still many, many open tabs. And you can see I can do very, very fast browsing up and down, even with larger sites. This is a small one too. This is a larger, a complicated site. You can see and how fast I can scroll up and down. Here I'm even uh, on Google Maps. Maps 3D, I'm on Steam, I'm on the Uhuru page. Yeah, let's move around here a little bit. You can see uh, Eiffel Tower, absolutely no problem. This is full desktop power, has nothing to do with normal mini PCs which you are used. Uh, this is really, really, really nice. Yeah, I almost forgot that I had installed uh, Rocket League and it even works with the 360 controller. Of course, it's a little bit difficult uh, behind the camera. It's almost impossible to play and also I don't have the right settings here. But you can see uh, this is 1080p. Uh, pretty good, uh, no lags, uh, I'm playing since quite a while, yeah it's almost impossible with this angle, I would have to reset the view here, I mean I'm not good but I'm not uh, so bad, but you can see everything works pretty good, Rocket League 1080p, yeah it doesn't have any lags, no nothing works, absolutely awesome, I mean with my laptop, uh, probably the gaming laptop, I have some uh, little bit uh, better uh, graphics but uh, there's not much difference to see uh, to be honest yeah pretty good here uh, of course if you want to use 1080p you would have to add this uh, setting to the profile or profile to the settings before you can start it up otherwise it will just allow 720p i've also been installing the open office you can see how fast this is opening here text document and we are already here ready to write something no wait time no nothing so we have a full desktop power here now as a final task, I'm going to run the user benchmark. So I'm doing the full thing here to see how capable this really is. The only problem which we see here, um, yeah, I let it run uh, on purpose so you can hear the sound or the noise here from the PC and it's definitely a lot. 
Yeah, when you do a lot, you will hear a lot. It's not a silent or even fanless mini PC. So if you want to have an absolutely silent mini PC, like for your TV or so, or as a server, which you have even maybe in your uh, bedroom or so, this is not the thing for you. This is really more like a desktop. It has some desktop power, but it can be really noisy from time to time. And especially the noise level goes really fast up and down some Sometimes almost with every click it goes up and down up and down so if you don't like too much noise it, it could definitely bother you no question about that and I would definitely not suggest to use this on top of a desk make sure that you have it somewhere a little bit hidden underneath a little bit away from you then it shouldn't be a big problem I mean regarding the temperature it has never been a problem really I have even lifted it up checked underneath how hot it is there's no real heat spot or so I have even opened the whole thing here uh, during uh, when it was working and there's no real big heat inside or so you don't have to fear that it's really overheating and then throttling down but the problem is really that there's a fan inside and the fan is not really uh, very silent and it's uh, running all the time when you have the PC a little bit busy of course when you're just uh, browsing, I mean, reading something, there's no problem with that. But when, when it has to do some heavy work, of course, then you will hear it. So the benchmark test is completed. I will copy this thing. I will provide this thing down in the description so you can check it out, read everything. And what we can see, yeah, for gaming, surfboard, yeah, very light gaming, of course. But uh, de as a desktop, you can expect a uh, battleship power uh, workstation. Of course, it's even worse than for gaming. But as a desktop, it's very solid. No question about that. When we go down to see all the details... Yeah, the AMD Ryzen 5 is performing way above expectations, so looks like it has really decent cooling. Also the Radeon Vega 8, uh, way above expectation. The SSD, the SSD storage performing above expectation, memory kit uh, performing above expectation. Yeah, this is one of the best performances I've ever seen from any kind of mini PC, or probably it is. This is very close to an i5 Intel Pentium and uh, if you just want to have something small and rather cheap and uh, maybe even uh, something which you can take with you on, on travel if you have like a mobile uh, screen or so this could be the thing for you so from my side definitely full recommendation I will put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.